Acharya ji pranam on being asked what are the marks of an earnest disciple sadshishya ron maharshi says an intense longing for the removal of sorrow and attainment of joy and an intense aversion for all kinds of mundane pleasures dear acharya ji recently i participated in the us camp of your foundation and i felt that the silence experienced in the camp did not last after returning and the old patterns came back let alone an intense aversion i actually began to enjoy mundane pleasures even more than i used to i must admit that i did not have an intense longing anyway to begin with and also did not have intense aversion for all kinds of mundane pleasures only sometimes i do see the emptiness of mundane pleasures which made me attend the camp in the first place how to build and preserve this intense longing and intense aversion in me so that i can become a satshishya no no freedom is something that you can work hard for freedom is something that you can target but you cannot target to target freedom you getting you can want freedom which is beautiful ramana maharshi is talking of intense longing for freedom so you can want freedom but you cannot want to want freedom that's the question you are asking me you are saying acharya ji i do not really want freedom please teach me how to want freedom that i cannot teach that i cannot teach if you do not have the longing for freedom if you do not have aversion towards bondage then i cannot teach you aversion or longing love cannot be taught the lovely one is standing in front of you you expect me to educate you in loving him it would be quite a demeaning thing to do i won't do that all ugliness is surrounding you from all sides and you are giving it respect and value you want me to teach you to not to value it i cannot do that it's something about your inner sovereignty both the longing and the aversion must be your own sovereign independent honest decisions once you decide that you want freedom then i can probably assist you but if you have not even decided that you want freedom i don't even come into the picture who am i nobody spirituality is not to make general fellows feel bad about their lives spiritual people are anyway quite infamous even reviled if they start undertaking this kind of business then they'll not be able to live even for two days what you are saying is acharya ji i think in my own eyes that i am leading an almost all right life only sometimes i have a little bit of you know anxiety or troubles only sometimes you know i have a, a little inclination towards freedom but in general 
आई लाइक एंड लव एंड एंजॉय मंडेन प्लेजर्स एंड सच थिंग्स सो आचार्य जी प्लीज मेक मी फील एवर्जन अगेंस्ट प्लेजर वाई विल आई डू दैट यू आर हैविंग अ गुड टाइम वाई विल आई स्पॉइल द फन विल आई अलाउ यू टू स्पॉइल माई फन नो वाई शुड आई स्पॉइल योर फन एज लॉन्ग एज यू फील यू आर हैविंग फन फन फना फन नो इश्यूज वाई शुड आई अननेसेसरीली मेडल एंड पोक माई नोज एज लॉन्ग एज प्लेजर इज प्लेजर टू यू कॉन्टिन्यू गेटिंग प्लीज प्लीज बी प्लीज नो स्पिरिचुअल टीचर कैन हेल्प यू इन दिस द स्क्रिप्चर्स बिगिन वेन द लॉन्गिंग हैज बिगन द स्क्रिप्चर्स आर नॉट मेंट टू प्रोवोक और अराउज लॉन्गिंग इन यू इफ यू डो नॉट हैव इट यू डोंट हैव इट दैट्स इट एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव इट वाई आर यू अननेसेसरली ट्राइंग टू स्टिर अप ट्रबल द चैप इज लीडिंग अ डिसेंट लाइफ he is unnecessarily putting his nose and tongue into the hornet's nest why do you want to invite trouble it's cool in your situation the maximum i can advise you is see whether you are getting what you really want i mean that much is a decent advice to make and also my responsibility towards you see whether you are really all right with yourself be cautious towards some symptoms of suffering don't ignore those symptoms are you ambitious that's a symptom of suffering and every symptom of suffering is also a symptom of longing for freedom every symptom of suffering is a symptom of aversion towards pleasures do you feel lonely you are suffering and if you feel lonely then you do have a longing for truth but i'll not i'll not force that upon you i'll wait for you to admit that i'm nobody to impose myself upon your well settled life i can only request you see whether doubt pervades your mind and if you remain suspicious and doubtful then you are suffering see whether you are insecure about yourself or about people around you if you are insecure then you are suffering see whether you feel a frequent need for entertainment if you feel that then you are suffering see whether you can sit still without thoughts and without company for a few hours if you can't do that then you are suffering see whether you are susceptible to greed and temptation and if you are then you are suffering and i could prolong the list and keep adding items after items i need not do that you do that you do that and remember that the one who suffers intensely longs for freedom from suffering so suffering itself is the intense longing hmm? once you are honest and courageous enough to acknowledge that you indeed do have both longing and aversion then we can talk <laughs>